is it so much that everyone has all these special techniques? And like, you definitely need an arsenal of techniques. But one of the things I think that's most important, you know, as you get more advanced and you start rolling with guys that are like even really high blue belts and above, um, is just your positioning and setting stuff up. So what I think is going to be the most beneficial to everyone might not be the most fun to do, but we're going to start mounted, and I'll show you guys some of the things that I do when uh, I get positioned on top. So. When you're mounted, obviously the guys are usually going to they're going to T-Rex here. For MMA, who really cares? You can beat them up. But a real common thing guys do is they'll start pushing your knees and stuff. And I see guys constantly be here, and they start lifting this leg like to get their balance and get put back in guard. So the first thing we do is just have your partner push that knee. I'm just going to put my hand on the floor and I'm just going to spider walk out. Because this might be really hard if he's strong. I can't yank his arm, but push kind of hard. It's going to be hard to do. But if I just put my hand on the ground and his elbow, and I just walk my hand up. Then I can kind of keep them nice and collapsed here. Another thing is I'm always using my shoulder when I'm down to push his chin one way or the other, this way or that way. Same thing if I'm cross side. If I'm cross side, guys, I want to make sure his elbow is off the ground and I'm using my shoulder to turn his chin away. It's a little detail, but here, go ahead and face me now. He can't face me if he can't look at me. So these little things are going to help you guys out. So with our partner, just one of the things I want you guys to do is I want your partner just to kind of push knees a little bit, hand on the floor, base here around my elbow, and if I'm here, I'm going to use my shoulder to turn, turn away. Just walk your hand up here. The second thing we're going to do is show you guys how to get off the mount to cross side. Because sometimes guys are just turtled up and we can't get anything. And I see guys try to go back to cross side by doing this, and that creates way too much space. So all we're going to do is swing whichever side we're going to go to that leg around this way. And it keeps our weight on him the whole time. And I bring my knee up. So if I go the other way, here, boom. And I check this knee. As soon as this knee comes around, it doesn't stop here, right to his hip. Keep my weight down. So whatever side I'm going to, my hips are going to stay low on him. Swing my foot up, around. See, my weight is still on him the whole time. And even if he starts to move his hip to put me back in guard, this knee is going to beat his hip to it. <clears throat> stay nice and tight here. Head control. Get cross side. Pop up to the end stomach. Any shows going knee and stomach side to side like this, controlling the wrist, that's great. The only thing I don't like about that is that he's not stable. So if he moves around a lot, I'm losing my balance. I'm trying to balance on him. So I'll post my hands here. Just because no matter what, you know, if I need to abandon or go back cross that, it gives me more space. So with your partners, guys, the drill is going to be, we're going to be mounted. He's just going to push on the knee a little bit. We're just going to peel that hand off to settle him down. Second thing I'm going to do is bring my knees up a little higher. Come off. Come here, knee on belly, knee on belly, mount. It's simple enough, guys. Uh, when you're going for that for the mount and you're sliding, do, do you want to slide your hips down? I want to or? slide my knee. My knee wants to connect to the, his hip bone here. So because you, usually he's not going to just be sitting there moving. He's going to try to move into me. Go ahead. As long as his knee is here, he's not going to be able to put me back in guard. So I don't want to slide it like this. I want to slide it around. This is going to check his hip, okay. my elbow, then I'll tighten him up, lift him and roll him over here. Hands on the ground, knee up, throw punches, using the T-Rex, hands here, makes it nice and light. And also I use my foot like a belt. I don't go knee on belly way over here. And I definitely don't do this because I don't have a base. Knee nice and deep, hold here, or this way, or mount. Just get position moving. Just make a drill out of it. Okay guys? Let's go with our partners like three or four minutes. Start with the same dismount. Um, I'm not saying to abandon mount. I'm just saying that for me, if you guy's really good and you just T Rex is hard, it's hard to open stuff up. And he's usually playing that waiting game. He knows he can kind of feel when he's when you're gonna move. So when he goes, like everyone knows, oh he's set up an arm bar, you know? So he's, it's gonna be a fight. So it's just a way that I create a scramble a little bit, because this usually opens stuff up. So I'm going to dismount, and as I do, we're going to go the long process to the back. As I'm coming out, he's going to start to turn into me. This is real common. This right hand is going to go under, just like a Dars, but instead of going under his chin, I'm going to go to the back of his head, palm facing the ground. And I'm just going to use his body weight to flatten him out cross side. This works no matter what side I'm on, too. If he's pushing, turning into me to push me back in guard, Left hand would go underneath, and instead of going for like a darse, I come on top of his head, back hand to the back of the head, hand on the ground, use my body weight, spin him around. That lifts his hip up. So the first part of that, we just start the same, start dismount. Shoulder. shoulder, yes, I'm sorry. I dismount, he starts to turn in. I go almost for a darse, doesn't matter if he tucks his head. If I can darse, great. If not, 
put my hand here on the back of his head, keep my weight down on his shoulder, and just spin my hips. Why I like this is this gets his arm up nice and high. From here, I have my left arm over, or I pass it over my head. I just come to my, ah, actually no, I messed it up. How the hell did I get to the other side? Oh, he, he went this way, <laughs> back, the back. How the fuck did I fuck that up? Wow, so we'll just stay with this on, uh, on this side. So we'll just go over here, push his elbow in, come over to the top, and then switch our knees. Okay, so one more time, just we dismount. He starts to turn in, I look like I'm gonna go for a dart, I go to the back of his head, just so that he can't start playing my feet, and get into his knees, spin around, palm to palm, shoulders in, lift the arm up and over, use the head on the ground, knee over, palm to palm, switch the base, finish it up. Let's go guys, I hope you guys do that one second part, probably the only one that's gonna slow you down. How the hell did I forget what I just damn did? <laughs>